Seth Freakin' Rollins, and this is Bretto Live on YouTube. What is going on, guys? Brett Alive back with another video, and today we have the WWE Wrecking Slambulance. Freaking so sick. Pick this up from freaking Amazon. So excited. Mattel Toys WWE Wrecking Slambulance. This thing sold out of Amazon so quick. Right when I saw it, I'm like, I'm getting it. There's no question about it. I'm ordering it right now. I'm getting it. And here it is, guys. The Wrecking Slambulance. It is still in its Mattel box from China. Of course, the first box that you guys just saw me open was the Amazon packaging, which is very nice how they double boxed it and they just didn't put the label on this. So I thought that was really cool. So then it's fully protected. Super awesome. I'm going to cut the top. Should be good from here. Boom. We're going to crack it open. This is the first time looking at it in person oh man guys here we go it's freaking massive dude we ready for this oh man guys we got the wrecking slambulance again guys this is brand new from mattel picked it up from amazon as i said and let's take a look at this just beautiful Packaging right here again guys the Wrecking Slambians. I thought this was going to be a Target exclusive But turns out it's an Amazon and ringside exclusive very cool. There's a look at the package it says launching action We're gonna have to take take it out of the box get a closer in-depth look at all the features of this bumper to bumper Destruction so basically you destroy this entire thing scan QR code for something I'll have to do that on my phone see what it does Wrecking Slambians. this package is so massive for the review station I'll have to push this back a little it says crush me right there so when it's on the shelf you could freaking destroy the little front hood right there, which is awesome. This thing is massive. Again, guys, we are going to be unboxing it, reviewing it, getting a Braun Strowman figure right next to it, which I'm so excited to do. It says, break the vehicle and your opponents. Look at this mayhem, dude. Everything's destroyed. The doors are getting ripped off. People are going through the top. It looks awesome. Cannot wait to get it out. There's a look at uh, more some more uh, product shots of it. It says, press to launch. Oh, uh, the gurney. So basically, you press the license plate and it shoots out the back. This is going to be so fun to mess around with, play with, see what it does. Of course, there are going to be some matches coming to the channel as well on this, which I'm super excited to film. But yes, guys, this is the review and the unboxing. So without further ado, let's crack it open. All right, guys, we got the Slambulance out of the package. Guys, again, this is a wrecking Slambulance. Super cool, super awesome. You could break it down. You could destroy it. I'm going to show you guys all the features, all the in-depth, close details that this thing has to offer in its glory so without further ado we are going to get into it but before we do i had to get roman reigns as well as braun Strowman right here because they in my opinion had one of the most iconic freaking ambulance matches and we will set them up next to the ambulance at the end of the video so stay tuned but yes guys here it is freaking massive i could barely even fit it in the frame zoom out a little there it is Freaking massive. There's my hand next to it. Freaking huge. I'll get a Braun Strowman Elite figure. This is the brand new Elite 76 with the Top Pick 2020 shirt. There he is right next to it. You got about... Uh, about a centimeter more, and then he would reach the top of the ambulance. But, dude, I love the scale of this thing. Super cool. Before we get into the, all the um, the uh, features of the thing, we're going to take a look at all the different... Uh, details. So here's a look at the front. I love the look of the front. Just so natural looking. I really like it. Here we have the WWE logo right here looking really good. I didn't have to put that sticker on. Some of the stickers we did. If I did have to put that one on, that would have been a nightmare. Really like the logo on the front. You got some silver, some black grill right there looking really nice. I love these lights. They look super real, super natural. That is a sticker. Not that I had to put on, which is super cool. Here's a uh, the license plate right here. It says Reckon 1, which is really cool. And then here's the bottom. Nothing too crazy just a bunch of different uh ambulance features which look pretty cool this is a button right here i will show you guys what it does but before i do that like i said i'm going to go through all the details and then i will show you all the features but yes guys that's the front here is one of the sides right here looking really cool and as you guys could probably tell that does break away but as i said guys i will talk about the features after i talk about the details these stickers right here 
One, two, wait, no, one, two, three, four, five, six. These six stickers you do have to put on. Super easy. If uh, you are a little younger, I would suggest getting your parents' help with that because it could be a little difficult. It was a little difficult for me. But yeah, WWE logo right there. Thought it was really cool. Some people didn't put them on. You, you're not forced to. If you want to make it look more natural, you don't have to put them on. But I just thought I just thought these stickers just look super cool. More just lettering on the side of it. I just think it looks really good. You got the nice lights here. Every other, so you got red, gray, red red, gray. That's how I did it. And it's a slambulance WWE. A bunch of different molded events going in. A bunch of different doors. You can't open that one. You can't open these as well. But again, as I said, this is a breakaway piece. Big red line going along the side. Moving to the door. You got a nice mirror attached to it. It is rubber, which looks really cool. You got a nice little step there as well. Because of course, for a WWE sphere, this is going to be a little high to get into. You open it up. It looks really good. I really like the look of the cockpit. Let's see if we get a close zoom on it. Looks really good in there, not gonna lie. I really like that. It looks like you got a radio in there. You got the steering wheel. You got a little stick shift down there looking really cool. The seats look really nice. I really like the interior. Looks really freaking cool. Love that. No glass implants here, but that's pretty good because all you got to do is get your finger behind it and then pull it right out. It's way easier to get out. If there was glass there, it would be kind of a nightmare to get out. But yeah, guys, really nice. Here's a look at the front. This is a glass piece right here, glass windshield, which looks really nice. I like that. The light up here looking really nice. Also, you can remove that. Again, I will show you guys the features. There is the little red light there. This does not light up. I thought there were batteries for it, but there are not, which is pretty cool because, you know, I don't want to be messing with no batteries. But yeah, this does break off. It's the red. You got the gray in the front, silver, which looks really cool. That's one side. The other side here, pretty similar stuff same stickers same thing there just the only thing different is you got these little doors here that do break off you can put certain weapons in there you could store like kendo sticks cool fire extinguishers you can put whatever you want in that little hatch there but otherwise pretty similar over here here's another view of the cockpit if you guys want to get a view in there let's get a zoom in on that like i said you got the steering wheel pretty basic you got the radio the air vents if you guys can make that out looks really good i really like the look of that but yeah this thing is just so cool let's get a look at the wheels the wheels are massive, man. They are plastic. They're not a rubbery material. They look really rubbery, but they are a plastic, fully hollow on the inside. They look really nice. Super cool. Rolls really well. I love it, man. Here's a look at the back right here looking really cool. It says Slambulance WWE WWE. These doors do open, which is very cool. I will show you the main feature for that, which is awesome. And you guys also do have this gorilla plating right here. Wrecking one for the, um, the little... Uh, License plate there. You got the lights, a little hook down there, as well as this little bar here that you could maybe, you know, grab an action figure's hand, hook it onto there, set them up looking pretty cool. And then there's another engraved logo right there looking really cool. I did not have to put any of these stickers on either, just to let you guys know. Here is the top. Nothing too crazy. You could definitely, the, even though this breaks, it will definitely support an action figure. So say I wanted to put Braun Strowman up there, it definitely will support him. So, here, I'll show you guys. So, it's not going to, like, break away. You could still have some action figures up there and well, without it breaking. Like, uh, say if it's not your intention to break it, it will still hold action figures up there. But now we have talked about all the details. Let's take a look at all of the features. Alright guys, starting off with the front here, obviously, just like its brother, the Camaro, the Target exclusive Camaro Wreck and Slam Mobile, the front freaking breaks, just like the ambulance, let's take a look at the ambulance, again guys, this thing is super awkward to hold, boom, right there, it breaks, breaks in two different pieces, so you could take them off. Take those off. Really cool. You get a look at the engine. Looks really freaking cool. I like that. You got the w a WWE engine. I would like to install that on my car. That would be freaking cool. Uh, but yeah, moving to the side, the doors, as I said, do open. These do not snap off. Don't try to snap them off because they will snap off legitly. On the top, you do have the light, which comes off. You could take this off, maybe beat an action figure with it or something. Take that off. Again, as I said, doors open. Moving over here, I already kind of showed it, but these do do pop off right there really cool and as I said inside they got little hooks in there so you could hook different stuff on there say like a chair a, um, a fire extinguisher and like I said guys it might not be meant for it but I kind of just threw some accessories really quick in there just to show you how it is again guys it might not be meant for it but you might be able to get that bat or just like just work with it you know you could just put some sticks in there cover them up with the doors put them back on there but yeah pretty cool you just take that out and then I also do have the sledgehammer up on this little stick here which is pretty cool 
pop that off. Again, guys, it's not meant. I don't think it's meant for certain accessories like this, but I bet you could work with it. Do it at your own risk for sure, but yes, yeah, super cool. Moving to the top here, we do have the main, in my opinion, main breakable piece. Punch that, and this thing will break fully through. You could send an action figure through there, which is so cool. It also can break up like that, which is super awesome. There's a look at the interior. Moving to the back, these doors right here, which are really cool. Definitely my favorite doors on the entire thing. Opening those, you could snap those off just like that. And then moving to the interior, might as well take a look at this. You do have the stretcher which is really cool. This is a brand new mold for the bottom piece, the bottom half. We have seen the top half. There's a brand new rubber. It's basically like a big rubber band that you could get your action figure. Say we have Roman Reigns here. You could get him, get the rubber band, get it under his arm, get it under his other arm, and then you strap it on this little peg down here, just like so. And as I said, it's rubber, so you could fit like a pretty big action figure. I guarantee you guys would be able to fit Braun Strowman on there. But yeah, I'm just choosing Roman Reigns because I'm not sure why. But yeah, he definitely fits on there. What you do, well, before we do it, let's take a look on the interior here. Looks really cool. I love it. A bunch of different medical stuff. A microwave back there. A bunch of different doors. Super awesome. Just super cool. They got like a chart board up there. A bunch of different decals. Obviously, none of that's molded or printed on there. It is probably, let's see here. That is definitely a sticker or something glued on there. But still, I really like how they added the detail there. And also, from the interior, you could pop that out just like that. So say you're fighting in the ambulance. Both your superstars can just come out of the side. Boom! Right out of the side. Here, let's redo that. We got to redo that here. So let's put that back on. Get Braun Strowman. Boom! We know. Boom! Right through the side. And he flies out all dead. Super cool. And moving in to the main feature of the entire Slambulance. Here we have Br here we have Roman Reigns on top of this stretcher right here, which is super cool. And here, if you guys have noticed, on the floor of the interior of the ambulance, there's a sort of like a mechanism that looks like it'll shoot something out. So without further ado, we are going to take a look at that. So basically, you get Roman Reigns. If you guys are having a hard time figuring out this system, you get him, you push him back until you hear a click, and then what you would normally do, what I'm going to do right now, is you would pop the doors back on here. Super easy to put on. Make sure you put the bottom in first. Uh, it'll make it really easier without snapping everything. We'll close up the top. And what you do, as I showed in the beginning of the video, the front, Reckon 1, that is the license plate that you press. So I'm going to press that, and I'll get you guys a view at the back. All right, guys, without further ado, we are going to press the button. Oh, so Roman Reigns is basically in a big spring position, and he will get sent out on this stretcher in to whoever you want. It's like a big bowling pin. He comes flying out of here, takes out Braun Strowman. Just such a cool feature that Mattel didn't have to do, but they did, and it's just super cool. Honestly, guys, this thing is just such a freaking awesome place set. Let's get to the outro. Okay, guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to smash a massive like in this video. Let's see if we can get to 1,000 likes on this video. Make sure to uh, drop a massive comment down below as well as subscribing to the channel. But yes, guys, I really try my best to review every single detail, every single breakaway piece, all the different features of this place that I really hope you guys enjoyed. Hopefully, you guys were able to see everything you wanted in this video about the Slambulance. It's an awesome, awesome place that I really recommend it. It is available at Ringside, but I did pick this one up from Amazon before Ringside had it available. But yes, guys, discount code live if you guys are trying to pick up anything from Ringside Collectibles. But yes, guys, this has been the Slambulance that I picked up from Amazon, and I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Bredo Live uh, out.